for the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins on the market, and check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff out the Mad Cheese has always got another passing scheme for you guys today. An explosive offense that I've put out probably the last two Maddens. And I'm going to continue by putting out the updated version in Madden 22. This is coming out of my Niners ebook. If you guys don't know, I just dropped a full Niners playbook breakdown. Link's in the description below. It's on my Patreon, on my Join Now community tab, and on my uh, website. All those things you can get in the description below. But I'm going to highlight some of the better passing schemes, including the one I'm going to do today, which has been one of my favorites for a very long time. I know a lot of people like Gun Bunch and stuff like that, but me personally, I like the guns. I probably have about 10 plays and there's only 12 total plays here, so that might be a bit of an exaggeration, but I probably feel like I have 8 or 9 plays in this formation. It's one of my favorite formations, it's one of my go-tos in gameplay, uh, and it's one of the most explosive. As you can see, I mean, there's a couple of plays, like this one right here, the drive corner, where I average 21 yards of play. I, if I have my audible set up, the Z spot would be one of them. I, I need a run play, even though I really don't like the quick base that much, it's the, it's the best run play that, that I guess it has. Um, I wish I had inside zone, I really do. But the next play would probably be the drive corner, uh, and then the last play would be the PA cross. Those are probably my two favorite right here is the drive corner and the PA cross. So I will go and pick those. Like I said, I have a ton for a second scheme, so hit the like button if you guys want to see that. On the defensive side, we're going to start off with Tampa 2, and then we're going to work our way back to, to cover 3, cover 4, and things like that, man coverage like we typically do. So we'll start off with Tampa 2. Now before I get into this video, I just wanted to say this video is brought to you by my coin sponsor, AOEAH.com. If you guys want to support this channel and get your money, team up at the same time make sure to check them out link in the description below and use discount code money to get three percent off so let's go let's get right into the play like i said against cover two there's really not a ton of, of things you need to do i would just say streaking this x route would be enough because i'm really going to be attacking this y route this y route here it doesn't dramatically arc the same way that you know maybe like a, a corner route would like you might have in like a bench corner or a bench switch concept or something like that we're going to move the ball over because i got i got a pass lead quite a bit based off of this angle the angle that the Y route is running compared to like, I don't know if there if there's another play that has um, a, like a traditional corner route if I left myself, like the A route on this play, on the Z spot, which is kind of like a traditional corner route. This is more like a man beating version of a corner route. It doesn't arc as dramatically, but I still find that that's, that's, a, that's a positive because you're going to see how this, this particular play beats a lot of different defenses based off of that. So like I said right here, all I'm doing is waiting for that uh, that streak to pull that guy back. And I could be hitting a one play touchdown against cover two if I just would have caught that ball in bounds a little bit. Now I could block the running back on a play like this if, if I know I'm looking at a cover two, but realistically that running back's a good cover three check down. So I don't necessarily want to do that. But you can see this play, it does take a little bit of time as I'm getting a little bit of pressure to get this ball off, but it's, it's still, I mean, any deep route's gonna have that issue. Now the drive corner doesn't really have a ton of usefulness against cover three or cover four drop but it does have some very explosive plays against cover four quarters and man coverages so the cover three and cover four we'll get to when we get to the pa cross but for now we're just going to skip ahead on the p on the drive corner this particular play here has a lot of success when it comes to cover four quarters or cover four palms cover six here which is a cover four on the left side anything where you see a matching concept style cover four it's going to be a very glitchy one play touchdown uh which i it's a defense i see a lot i don't know about you guys but i see a lot of cover four quarters online i said so this play here i don't really need to do anything if anything motion this guy out because i'm going to motion this guy out a lot in this formation motioning him out will basically iso him to this uh, safety here which is basically what i'm trying to attack anyway as i get in under pressure like i said once again gotta block that running back i keep forgetting to do that and i get a ton of one play touchdowns with this particular play because you can see these safeties look how he just bites inside you'll see that pretty much every time and you're gonna have an easy uh one play touchdown as long as i bullet and pass lead to the outside now let's do that again this time i'll block the running back so i give myself a little bit of protection because i don't really you know you only have you only need four routes for this play to work anyway so let's go ahead and let's get this off one time properly and you can see it's just an easy one play touchdown against a pretty good safety uh Diggs is actually one of the better um, you know, I think he's like an 80 plus overall safety. So he's a good player. I mean, I, I think he's a higher rated safety than Samuel is a, a rated receiver if I had to, if I had to guess. 
So like I said, real easy. Cover four, anything cover four related, like I said, cover six, anything. It's going to be a one-play touchdown to this receiver as I've scored a ton of touchdowns using that exact same concept. This route is also a really good man-beating route, which is another thing I see a lot. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll run it against. We'll run against mid-blitz to start. This play here has a lot of good checkdowns, so make sure you block the running back on this one because I definitely don't have enough uh, receivers. But the speed out here is a really good play if you're, if you're catching a lot of heat. You just have to wait until he's outside the cornerback. And then I typically like the bullet and pass lead away. But you can see that's a route that is an easy check down. The drags, all these routes beat man, really. All, all four of these routes that I'm leaving myself are man beaters if you throw them at the right time. The A route's a really good man beater, although there, um, I thought that I threw that a little bit early. Uh, but the drag, I mean, everything is. But the drag and the A route are probably going to be user covered, if anything. So that's why I'm saying that the other, you know, the speed out route's probably best. And then, like I said, this guy right here, just as long as I get a little bit of time, as uh, you can see, pressure's the, the, the only real issue. So just as long as you block the running back and they're not sending too much heat, you should have plenty of uh, you know time and plenty of uh, separation to hit a one-play touchdown against uh, cover zero easily. All the man coverages should be the same, including cover two man, which we're going to go ahead and we're going to pick next. So we're going to pick a cover two man. So against cover one, cover zero, it's pretty much going to be the same. You're going to have all the same routes open. But against cover two, you're going to want to put this X route on a streak so you can pull that safety back. And then this is pretty much going to be another really big play. As you can see, that safety has to react as I run out of bounds a yard short of the end zone. But as that safety has to react to that streak. So I'm also going to slide my protection because I typically like to uh, to roll in the direction of the throw just to shorten it. So like I said, real easy play here. You can see the cover two safeties lost in no man's land. And I'm not getting good catch and run animations at all. As you can see right there, we don't get uh, the touchdown again. But I mean, if I had a really speedy receiver, let's do that one more time. If I had a really speedy receiver, this is a one play touchdown against... Any, any man coverage, any man coverage, any zone coverage, and we just get a good rack catch here. And you can see we're scoring one play touchdown. So any man coverage is a one play touchdown. Cover four quarters and cover two zone, this is a one play touchdown. So we didn't have anything against cover three and we didn't have anything against cover four. That's where the PA cross is gonna come into effect. Now the PA cross has a lot of uses other than that. It's also got some really good man beaters. It's got a lot of really good coverage beaters. So we're gonna pick that next. Like I said, that's probably the second best play in this formation, although this play is loaded. But let's go on this pick the PA cross. So this particular play, um, you know, this entire formation, I'm going to be motioning out either this guy a lot or the B route on the other side. The first play, I already motioned that guy out. This play, I'm going to motion this guy out. It's not really, you know, the point of these motions, they, they make the play, but it really should help uh, to disguise what you're doing. Your opponent should never really key in on what they're looking at based off of all the different motions that I'm going to make. So all I'm going to do on this play is motion out the B route and then streak the A route, and that's pretty much it. So the B route here, um, he's going to get open, like I said, cover two. He's going to get open right above that cornerback. And I don't know if that'll necessarily be a one-play touchdown, but you can definitely get some big gains with that play. If you want to streak the Y route, you can. You take away the check down and cover two, but this is also how you run the cover three look with, with streaking the Y route and streaking the A route. So let's go and let's do that one more time. Like I said, this route here takes a little bit longer than I would like to get out into that space, but it's still a really good route. Against cover three, the best play is definitely going to be the PA cross. So all I'm going to do is streak the Y route, streak the A route, and motion out James Jr. here. Motion out this X route. Slide my protection, pass block the running back, just give myself a little bit extra time. And this Y route here is going to be gone right up the seam there. It's going to be a lot of space to drop that in the bucket for about a 50, 60 yard gain, as you can see. I mean, if you have even more speed, this will be even easier. Um, I've seen a lot of times that when I run this play, particularly that the cornerback, he gets way past the cornerback. Like this particular play just kind of spreads the field for, in his direction. But if I had a little bit more speed, he actually, in my game plays, he actually gets past the cornerback and I can just basically bullet and pass lead outside. So that's something to, to keep in mind. But without a doubt, this is definitely, um, you know, the amount of separation that you have here, a little bit more speed, it would be going by even more. Now, remember, I didn't really throw in the first play there uh, with the drive corner. You also have this, uh, this check down. If you just need a couple yards, if you don't need a one play touchdown, that's a really good cover three and cover four beater underneath. Now the one play that I don't have a one play touchdown for in this video is cover four drop, but the gun, the PA cross is a really good play. 
uh, right there, cover four drop. So even though I don't have a one-play touchdown against cover four, I still have a good option in this offense, or at least with these two plays. Uh, in the future videos that I have, we'll have more cover four plays. But ultimately, this B route here gets open against any zone coverage. Like I said, these all these zone coverages are pretty bad. This play also beats man coverage in a couple of interesting ways. So let's go and let's pick the PA cross again. And then we're going to start off with, um, you know, cover one, I would say, would make the most sense because it's not necessarily man zero beaters. So let's go let's pick a cover one robber. The X route, once again, if I motion him out and isolate him, I mean, obviously the Y route is going to be a good check down. Uh, but the the y, the uh, this route here, the X route, is a really good especially a cover one man beater because you can see how it gets an outside release that's one of my worst receivers we're going to try that one more time i feel like this could be a one play touchdown against uh against cover one especially um but i just feel like i'm not uh getting the timing i want like i said it's really a timing throw and like i said i really doubt i have the speed to really get going for 50 yards but you can see how that's a really explosive play i'll go to the replay just to show you guys the timing that you're looking for because ultimately this guy here just like most plays when he makes when he if, if the if the cornerback turns in the direction of the slant he can't flip his hips quick enough so i'm probably thrown right about here i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna add the rest of the, the new plays to my audibles because the drive corner i've already used so we'll go and we'll take that out we're gonna put the bench in today and then we're also going to do where is that here? The mesh spots. On the defensive side, we're going to start off with Tampa 2 and work our way back to cover 3, cover 4 like we always do. This play here, all I really have to, I mean, there's a couple different ways that I could beat cover 2. It's not really a great play. I mean, both sides really have success. If I want to put the RB route in a traditional wheel route, I find that's best because it arches a little bit better when it comes to cover 2. And then streak the B route. That's all I really have to do. The, B, the RB route here, if I can buy enough time, will be a big play over the top of the cornerback. Although there, the, the you know, the defensive end was bearing down on me a little bit. So, so that's one thing you can do. I'll go ahead and I'll do that one more time. I'll slide my protection this time. Try to get a little bit of a better pass pro. Uh, but I could beat this defense on both sides. I mean, it's not just the running back side. You can see here, he just runs right past him. I don't know why I didn't catch it. <laughs> but that's probably the more explosive version. I can attack the other side too if I just make some motions over to the bunch. Which is something I really didn't do a lot of in the first series of plays, but I can I can definitely do this a lot, and I will do this a lot in today's video. Motion this guy over and basically create a bunch concept. On this particular setup, I would flat the X route and I'll keep my, my tight end on drag, but I'll block the running back. And the Y route here is going to be a very big play against cover two on the other side, although we're not getting a lot of good throws because we have a rookie quarterback in Trey Lance. But that's pretty much the look. So, you know, it, it doesn't even matter who you motion over. I'll motion over this guy, but you can motion over Kittle, you can motion over whoever you want you can keep the double drags too because the a route will pull the cornerback down the same way that the flat route will but ultimately um i don't know i guess the double drags might be a better setup but let's see if we can get a touchdown here as we're getting some big plays like i said i might have the one play touchdown that i want but there's definitely some big plays so you can definitely get an explosive play against cover two but against cover three the mesh spots an even better play this is definitely uh, a much better cover three version. So let's go, let's pick cover three sky. Against cover three, just gonna wanna put the B route on a streak or a fade. I don't think it really matters. Then motion the running back to the, uh, to the, to the line like this. Uh, then when you do that, the B route here will just have a really big play right over the top. Although there, like I said, you're a little bit short on pass pro, but luckily you're chasing a streak up the field. So it's pretty quick. Like I said, you're not going to have as much pass pro, but based off the fact that this guy here, um, he's just running a streak. I mean, I'm probably throwing the ball, throwing the ball pretty quick because that cornerback, he has to react to that wheel route. That's really what makes this work this year. I have a lot of cover three one play touchdowns utilizing this wheel route in the same way, uh, including a scheme I just put out, out of the wing type. But this is a, this is a better version because as a receiver running this where the other one I had a tight end running it I find you can put this guy in a traditional wheel route too and have the same effect so let's go and let's do that again and you see like we said we're getting this exact same effect the reason I'm fading instead of streaking by the way is it just he, he just slightly goes out further away from the safety like I can, you can put the uh the b route on a streak I just find that the, and you don't even have the motion running back out like all this stuff is is something I find makes the play slightly better but ultimately, you can run like this. And I'll streak the X route just to try to keep that safety over if I'm going to run it like this. But you can see you don't have to do any of these things. And you can still have a really big play. But I find that it's just like he's just that much closer to covering that. So there's a couple different ways you can run this. But ultimately, this is a very explosive cover three play regardless. Now, if you have a fast running back against things like man coverage, I wouldn't say man zero because you don't have enough blocking. But against man cover one especially, the running back can do a really good job of, uh, you know, basically, I mean, you need a little bit of a speed advantage 
manage. You need a fast running back, but he can do a pretty good job of getting uh, going just as long as you, you know, like you said, like he's just to- I mean, most are going to toast a guy like Bobby Wagner, but ultimately that's really based off a of speed advantage. So you have a play here. So I typically find motion amounts best. Um, I wish I had a little bit more blocking so I could do this against like a man cover zero. You also have some really good check downs to the drags, obviously. So uh, it's not a single read play when it comes to man coverage. So I would say if it's like a man cover two or a man zero, uh, you made a mistake if you thought it was a man cover one, you're gonna have to hit those drags pretty quick. As you can see, I mean, we're just, you know, that's that's gonna be your man beaters, but you really can't hit a one play touchdown against it with the running back. So the next play we're gonna pick is the Z spot. This is one of my more favorite plays. We're gonna pick that. Um, this is not a really good cover two play. We're gonna go ahead, we're just gonna run this against random nickel. So this play here, I mean, there's a lot of really good routes, especially against man coverage. Uh, the RB route is definitely a great flat beater. Uh, whether, you know, that'd be a good check down. Cover three, cover four, any zone coverage, really, that's a good route. Your man beaters are going to be the X route and the A route. Now I'm putting the B route here on a streak. That's pretty much just to get, um, you know, any, like right there. But we definitely have uh, cover three, cover three, cover two. You're going to have a lot of opportunities for a kid to be open. It's not really a great route for cover two because I really don't find that it has the depth. But the right side is definitely more of a zone concept side. The left side is really more man beaters with the X route and the Y route. Even the A route is a really good man beater if I get any of those. Uh, but you can see there, that was a blitz. The A route was wide open, but it's definitely easiest to just say, what am I looking at, man or zone? Or just stare down the A route, because like I said, that's a really good man beater. So here we go, we got a man coverage, we're gonna go to the man side. If we got a zone coverage, we're gonna go to the zone side. So against man, the A route, the X route, and the Y route are all solid against zone. You just wanna stick to the right side. Against cover three, cover four, the running back will get open instantly. Like that's what it looked like we had there. Um, that's, a, you know, you can catch that for a quick 10 yards. So this is a really good play. Like I said, I run this a lot just for a little bit of dink and dunk offense. Here we got a cover four, and Kittle's open against a cover four. So, you know, it's like I said, this is this is a really easy play to, to run. You can run this all day as long as you know what routes beat what and make the right read. So here we go. We got that uh, man coverage. That might be a cover four quarters, uh, which that, uh, yeah, that looked like cover four quarters. You can see that uh, that route does a good job beating that. Um, and like I said, we just have, you know, we can run this all game. Here we've got a man coverage, I make a poor read, but since Moster's so fast, he still gets outside of it, which isn't going to, you know, typically happen. But, um, you know, that was a poor read, and like I said, still worked out. Uh, I guess I'll show the slot curl. This is a good play. We'll go ahead and we'll pick that. This is a very good uh, zone coverage and, you know, cover two, cover three, cover four type of play. Once again, we'll go to Tampa 2. This play here, all I really want to do is put this Y route on a streak. I'm going to put this A route and drag, and then I'm going to streak this B route and motion this guy out. Then we're going to block the running back because what he's doing is not really helpful. So this is going to be best. Like, against a cover two like this, this is going to be a really easy play to the X route. I probably want to move the ball again because based off the fact that I could get some catch and run one play touchdowns against cover two and cover three as long as I uh, have the ball to the open side of the field like this. So, like I said, this is just a real easy play. I don't You don't necessarily have to do this motion against cover two. I would get in the habit of putting the Y route on the streak also, though, uh, because that is something that uh, is going to be helpful. So, like I said, you can see he's open by about 20 yards. Against cover three, you're going to have the most success. Uh, pretty much the exact same setup. And I'll put my guy on a, on, a, on a streak one more time. Put my Y route on a streak one more time. And like I said, you have a really easy one play touchdown. As you can see, he gets past the cornerback a lot easier uh, this time than he did in maybe some of the previous plays I showed like this. This particular play, for whatever reason, he just gets right up the seam. And he's past the cornerback pretty immediately. Like I said, this guy's in his back pedal, so he's not going to be able to react to that. I said this formation I use a lot of motions so none of these motions should give anything away and this one here this is one of the better ones based off the fact that um, a lot of the other one play touchdowns I showed in the first video the side that you motion out the receiver is the side that scores the one play touchdown in a lot of the previous plays the motion side was where the ball went. Like I would motion this guy out on with the PA cross and stuff like that. And it would basically create an opening up the seam for the streak. This here is completely different where you're motioning out uh, the opposite side. So if your opponent starts picking up on that and they start cluing in on the motion side being the action side, this is the perfect counter and you're gonna catch them off guard. That's why this formation is so great because you have so many great plays, so many one play touchdowns, so many different angles you can attack, so many different things you can do. Uh, it really makes this an impossible to stop scheme. So against cover four, you don't really have to do this motion. 
but I mean you can set up the same way I'm just gonna be attacking a different route I'll be going after that X route now as you can see he gets open outside of that cover four way more than he probably should uh, I got hit as I threw though um, but this is something that uh, like I said this is a pretty pretty easy concept I don't really have to I could put this guy here since I'm not really counting on that streak to do anything I could put this B route on like a 10 yard in route or something like that just to break a little bit later but you can see like this is something that you know against cover four you really shouldn't get that open to the corner so pretty much any zone coverage that particular route is going to beat um, let's go let's do this again I'm not gonna make all those motions and stuff because it doesn't really matter but like I said if I if I really get a good catch and run I might be able to you know I might be able to sneak up the sideline that's why I'm still trying to run this play again but uh, but that's pretty much it so you have a lot of really good routes um, to attack on a play like this. You can see, like I said, out there, I didn't make any adjustments, and it's just it's just so ridiculously wide open. The zone coverages aren't very good in this game. Next up, we have the flanker drive. This is a man-beating play, so I'm gonna go ahead. We're gonna see if we can go random man. I don't know if that even has. Yeah, we'll go man coverage. I guess we can go random man coverage. All right, there we go. So this play here, a lot of really good man beaters. We're gonna move the ball over though, because we're gonna go. Um, all the routes are running in one direction. And it's really my choice. I mean, the, the B route here is the is, is my is my weapon of choice because he gets open by the you know the widest margin. Although that drag was open by a lot too. It was almost like a man blitz, like nobody was even covering it. The running back, I can block him, although he is a man beating route as well. But if I want to give myself a little extra protection, like I said, that X route's wide open. So it's really they're all going in one direction. That's probably the biggest issue. Um, is that the user can drop into that direction, but that's why the running back is typically a really good option because he's a good man beating route too. So if you have a guy using a lot of man coverages, this is going to be a really good play. You could just drag the tight end, go with double drags, um, and now you'll have your, your you know, if your opponent does use her to this one side as much as you should ex would expect, you can go to the tight end the opposite side. So since you can't block the tight end, but you can block the running back, that would probably be the best move. So here we go one more time. Like I said, that B route to me is the best one. You can see it just gets open by a ridiculous amount that time. Uh, that's probably the most consistent, and that would be the reason I would call this play because there's drags in just about anything. Next up, we got the seams. Now, this is a play um, where, you know, you can really attack both sides. We're going to start off with Tampa 2. Against cover 2, just motion this guy out here. It's another play utilizing this motion. And all you really have to do is wait till he gets past that cornerback, which he doesn't really even really turn his hips. If you throw this ball with timing, this is a very easy one-play touchdown. But if you throw it a little bit late, it might be intercepted. So you really have to throw it. You really have to throw it right when he gets past the cornerback. The cornerback's not turned around. Throw it right now. Bullet, pass, lead outside. I'm sure that's exactly what I'm doing. Actually, the ball's already out of my hand. So, like I said, once he gets past that cornerback, you can see that angle. The cornerback's not turned around. There's nobody covering him. If I throw it quickly enough, the safety has no chance to react. So, any cover two zone, it's going to be deadly. Like I said, right away. Don't even have to wait. Get it out. Boom. We're up the sideline. Like I said, didn't throw it fast enough for that catch and run, but I also don't really have a fast receiver. But you can see how that's a really big play. You can attack the other side, too. Although we're going to move the ball over a little bit. The other side takes a little bit more dress up, though. Streak the X route. Typically want to drag the uh, the tight end, but you can see against cover two, it's still going in the right direction. The X route's also a good option. You still got that speed out route. So if it's a man coverage, you have a really good route against just about any man coverage. You should get open instantly. You just basically have the bullet and pass lead outside once it gets past the cornerback, like I said, right there. So if you throw too early or throw too late, it can be a problem. If you throw it on timing, it's a really good play. Next up, we have the slot post. This is another good cover three and cover two play. So we're going to pick that. Cover two zone, we'll start off with first. When it comes to cover two zone, you can really run this to either side. Uh, so we'll go ahead and move the ball back to the center. Just got to streak my, uh, my A route and my X route. I'm sorry, the A route and the Y route, my bad. Um, and then motion out, you know, either one of these receivers. Uh, now, this one's going to be best because the running back here will typically go on a route that pulls that cornerback down, but it doesn't really matter. You're going to have an explosive play on both sides. Threw that ball a little bit late for the catch and run, but that's okay. Like I said, it doesn't really matter what side you attack. You just have to attack the side with the motion. Like, if I motion this guy out and try to hit the B route, that's not really going to work out too good because it's safe yeah. to get there. So you need that separation. you got to spread the field as much as possible. You can't go to the short side. That's the only thing. So we're going to do that one more time. Like I said, the motion side is the action side. And then, boom, we're getting right past that cornerback for a very big play. Like I said, you can't get a one-play touchdown. If I if I really wanted to, I could you know run it from a hash mark and probably get an easy one-play touchdown. Let's go and let's do that. I said, I don't really have to, like, I can leave that Y route in a drag 
blocked a running back, give myself like a little bit of a check down situation. So like I said, right here, we got that. Uh, he's, you know, like I said, you can, if you have enough space, this can be a one play touchdown and a very quick one. Against cover three, the slot post is a really good play as well. We'll have to move the ball over though, because we will be attacking the receiver side. So streaking the Y route, streaking the A route, I will block my running back because I don't think I really need the check down. Um, you can put the B route on a drag to give yourself a check down that way. Uh, this is pretty much going to be all she wrote. The Y route here will get up that seam, and he will get right down the, uh, the center of the field there. So you spread the field about as wide as possible and just attack in the seam, which is something I've done in a couple of plays from this formation. This isn't the type that gets past the cornerback. This is the type that gets up the seam. So that's something to remember because you don't necessarily want to pass lead away uh, the same way. So like I said, right here. There, he kind of looks like he got past it that time. So there is opportunity, and that wasn't even really a clean pocket to throw from. But you can see there's plenty of opportunity up that cover three seam. So that's it. That's the vid. If you guys want to see more stuff out of the Niners, as always, hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Wish it out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more link in the description below Thank you.